This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted today to be joined with Hamza Shiraz. We're only 10 days away now from I mean, making your Polish debut. I don't know if you ever uh, fight there again, Polish but not something nice and unique. So how are we feeling? Yeah, no, good, man. I'm feeling great doing my thing, going about my business and should be a unique experience, bro, and one to remember. God willing. How has sort of camp been for you like this? It's a unique challenge in front of you, fighting someone that's undefeated. You know, a big step up for you, a big challenge in almost away territory. I know we sort of spoke about it a couple of weeks ago, but it's, it's something you're looking forward to. So you must be relishing at this challenge that, that's ahead. Yeah, no, the closer it comes, the more real, the more real it is. You know what I mean? You realise like you're actually going in there and you've, you've got to go do a job. So he's confident. Sorry, I'm confident. Um, and I'm just ready, man. I'm ready to do, do my thing. Now it's all about just getting in the zone. Just bringing that last bit of weight down, making making 160 pounds, and just cracking on and zoning in. Since moving up, what's the weight been like for you? Making that that jump, that the jump up, but almost making sort of. Has it been easier for you? No, it's been good. It's been good. It ain't been too bad. Like 154 was a struggle, man. But this has been all right. It's been all right. I'm like, I think right now I'm about 165 pounds. So five pounds two weeks ain't a lot at all. So I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling ready to go and. Yeah, like I said, I keep keep kind of repeating the same thing, but I'm just locked in and ready to go, bro. And you say there about the weight. Since you've moved up to middleweight, where you haven't got got a cut as much, and you say talk about making 154, where I'm sure in some of your fights you're having a battle with the scale. So is it is it good to not actually have that challenge on the scales anymore, when you know that you know the weight will come down naturally? I'll be fighting at more of a sort of natural weight in a sense. I feel a lot more mentally relaxed, man. There's no stress. Oh, I've got to make weight, then I've got to fight. It's more like okay, I know I'm on route to make weight. And, if, and that's it, I'm, my performances have been showing, I've been getting them out there in good fashion and I just feel good for it as well, I feel a lot better for it. Well we look now, this new, this challenge in front of you, a big test, um, I mean K2 have brought, brought a guy over, who's certainly no undefeated, um, how much of a test do you think this could be and how much of a credible win do you think this could be that you know, K2 are bringing a guy over so they clearly know that he means business? Yeah, no, I'm, it's my toughest fight to date. No, we haven't, we haven't got it mistaken at all. We know what he's about. He's, a, he's, a, he's experienced. He's um, ready to go. His first like, genuine, actual, credible title shot. But I'm going in there with the challenger's mentality, even though I'm the champion, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to go in there, go about my business and and handle my business in good fashion as well. I don't expect it to be easy, but I expect to get it done. And you look now, a, a win here would put you in really good stead and really pushing on after sort of a bit of inactivity from you, especially this year, which I'm sure has been frustrating. And you look now pushing on. I know that the British title is always going to be there with Bentley and that's always going to be a massive fight. But you've said so many times before that you know, you're know you not really looking at it, you're looking at levels above. So how much is the carrot being dangled for those world title opportunities very soon? There's been no, there's no, no carrots have been dangled yet, but I'm sure, like you said, I've put in a good performance. The offers will be coming in. You know what I mean? They'll be coming in and as long as this is the right, the right offer, or wherever it may be, to be fair, world title shot to world title shot. I've got to go, with, go in there and do my thing. But the main priority is obviously 26th of August. I know it's the main priority, but obviously like Bentley is there. So do you feel like, like what, what do you think the levels are between you two? Because you said you levels above, and why do you think that you are levels above him? I think if I didn't think I was, I was levels above him, what, what, what would I be? What, why am I in a boxing ring? You know what I mean? Um, anyone who's in your division, you, should, you really and truly should feel like you're, you're, you're levels above him. And, I know when you say it, it comes across as arrogant and a bit cocky, but it, that's not how I mean it. How I mean it is when we do get in there and I show what I'm about and I back up what I've said, it's just literally just believing in myself and having faith in myself. But like I said, that fight 100% will happen. We're both under Frank and he wants it. I said I want it, but the main priority for me right now is the August 26th. For, me to, for, for these big fights to happen, I need to get the business done then. And we look at a, a world level picture that we've already, we've already spoke about and you say now this might be the best time for you to be a middleweight where 160 the belts are all in a fray we don't really know what's going on for so someone like coming up like you you might be thrusted into the picture a, a lot a lot sooner than you might like so is that a good thing to see yeah of course man like, like i said if you believe in yourself why not go in there see see if you've got the minerals to become a world champion to mix it with the boys and then that's it so it's, it's a win-win so yeah why not 100%. Hamza, thank you for your time. Always a pleasure to catch up with you and all the best, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro.